And welcome to my AM32 tutorial for crawlers. Um, AM32 is normally used for drones or planes, um, but you can use it for your brushless motor as well on crawlers. Um, let's go through all this stuff. Here's uh, reverse rotation. Maybe I don't need to explain this if your motor turned the other way if you uh, give some throttle forwards, then you can check this and you don't need to switch the cables and There's a complementary PWM um, First maybe I try to explain what is PWM uh, it's a frequency and This is a kind It's let's say the easy way. It's a kind of a refresh rate where the motor is and this complementary PWM is used if you let go of the throttle and go back to neutral. Um, this will correspond then with your running brake, so your motor will have no running brake. So this always needs to be checked, uh, so you have a running brake. And then there's uh, the next point is uh, variable PWM, and this is corresponding with this over here on the right hand side um, as I told you it's a refresh rate and for drone flights they need a very high PWM if they have a high amount of RPMs so they have more torque when they go full throttle which is super important for drones uh, for us the crawler guys it's uh, it's the other way around we need a lot of torque when the motor is um, slow, slowly um, spinning. So there's a huge, huge benefit um, you can make with the PWM. You can uncheck this. And then the slider over here is blue and you can move them. And you can move in for example, which is really good value is you can put in here 16, uh, 16 kilohertz uh, means 16,000 hertz. Um, and if you go down with the PWM frequency, you get way more torque uh, on the low low end uh, um, when you do this. It's like you have a lower gear in it. Um, it's really a huge effect um, but when you want to give more speed as well then it would be better to have more than just 16 uh, even 16 would be okay with our motors uh, then you uh, just check again the variable PWM what this does is it takes the value which is inside of this box and takes it by 2 so you get a PWM if you put in 16 of 32. Um, variable means when you just give a little bit throttle and you have a low RPM, then you have 16. And if you go full throttle, then you go up to 32, which is really a good, good one for our motors. If you have a high KV motor with a lot of RPMs, then maybe just go to, to 18, or if you use uh, 4S, maybe 18 is a good good value as well, but should be fine with 16 as well. And this is my recommendation. Try try the, the PWM frequency, uh, lower PWM frequency, and you will see it's way more torque. So let's go to the next point. Uh, easy B directional always needs to be checked because this is your know, crawler mode forward reverse. If it's unchecked, then you just have a forward mode. The next one is a stuck rotor protection. Always keep this unchecked because if this is checked, then when we are in low speed and the motor thinks even with power I can't turn, then he cuts um, the power off. 
This is normally when your drone is stuck in the tree and the props try to turn and your motor would burn out uh, because it can't turn. So this is a safety security for props, but not for, for us. Then brake on stop needs to be checked always because brake on stop is uh, is our drag brake you activate the drag brake there then you have the stall protection the stall protection does the same like Sanyu DL dry startup mode uh, I will say it's a sinus startup mode as very similar almost the same um, means if you have stall protection checked then even if you're super slowly moving your motor then you get uh, it can't get uh, zero of the circuit where it closes and normally it would say Ooh, the motor is stuck but it gives more current inside of the motor and keeps it turning like like a stepper motor um, this is one way to to improve the slow crawl and the next one is this one but you can try to uncheck this and just use the stall um, stall protection because it's almost the same i would say if you have a huge outrunner motor with a big can and huge magnets maybe uh, the sinusoidal um, startup is maybe better but you can try this out there's no there's no risk of trying this out uh, sinusoidal startup is very interesting it's almost close to the foc technology because you get a lot of um, power but this works only uh, maybe until 30 percent of the throttle um but you can you can decide how much it is um or it's a 25 percent of the throttle um in this one you can put in and with this slider the the startup range um some say it's better to have just a little bit lower or a bigger one um you something you will figure out by yourself I would say a little bit less than max is better because then there's a chance that you get a gap from switching from this uh, sinusoidal um, startup to, to the normal mode. Uh, something you have to figure out by yourself um, because this is very uh, motor dependent. Uh, next is telemetry and uh, this use hall sensor you can't forget about this because this is a communication with the uh, with the flight controller we don't have another controller we just have the ESC making everything for us so this is just if you have a drone um, timing advanced means we're with the we're change uh, that it puts current inside of the the magnets um, and because you know it's it's not like this passing when you stop the current uh, if you if the if you take away the current it's not falling down like this it's like falling down like this when it moves so before crossing the magnet uh, you want to have no no magnetic fields um, there so it's way more efficient if if you do um, if you take it a little bit away before so it's 15 degrees at the moment um, you can try this with slower um, with slower huge motors and huge magnets you can go with so lower kv you can try i think the next step is 7.5 you can try this out um but then you shouldn't have a motor with a lot of kv uh, turning high up because then you maybe get some 
uh, bad effects out of this. If you have a motor which has a uh, high kV, then you maybe go up to 22.5. Um, but normally uh, it should be until 3000 or 4000 kV with 2S, maybe 3S should be okay with 15 degrees. If you have way more kV or um, voltage, then you maybe go even up to 22.5, but then you lose a little bit on the torque on the slow crawl, and this is something we don't like. So keep 15 and if you have a huge and strong motor with um, low kvs and maybe you can try 7.5 and uh, gives you more torque as well and the motor kv yeah easy you can put it in and then you need the motor pose mm, normally you, you don't need this but you only need it if you use a center sodial um, startup then you need the motor pulse because he needs to know this because then he's changing the electronic or how much current or on which timing point comes in as uh, inter as very um yeah in, uh, very good information for the motor then should be the motor pulse correct in but you can do your motor pulse in any way then there's the startup power is corresponding with a uh, synodosial startup drive and of course with the startup range so these three points are always belong together and the startup power I would leave at 100 maybe 120 because when you put in too much startup power then maybe you get even the gap when you go out of the range of the sign mode uh, to regular drive so depending on where your startup range is set then you can get a gap there so maybe 100 120 i would use um i wouldn't change this too much uh, B, uh pwm frequency we talked about this uh, this is uh, checked for us but go go to a lower value like 16 by the way, uh, then B volume is outrunner doesn't need uh, high B volumes. In runner, maybe need a higher B volumes if you want to hear you call beep. If you don't want to hear beep, then puts the slider to the left side. Then we have the stock brake level. This is nothing else than the drag brake. So this should be maybe for in runner you can put it on eight. Uh, on an out runner you can put it on max. You can even put it on in runner max, depending on if your car's uh, if if the drag brake is uh, strong enough. Um, we had this um, time more power there as well, and then we have a running brake level. This is the the brake force which is used to slow down uh, a turning motor if you change your throttle or if you lower your throttle and uh, how quick uh, does it re um, reacts and uh, stopping the, the turning. So this is your, your brake, your brake force. Uh, I, uh, I would say as a regular driver, I would go maybe to eight or seven um if you are a tough crawler only on the rocks and you you go 10 but you always can change this um this is what i know about this what i can tell you that uh, if you are long time in startup mode this will uh, draw some some current away and maybe get you your system a little bit warm or hot and uh, this is inefficient this mode for the battery uh, not for the battery life but for 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 the amount of battery mm, this takes a lot of uh, power away from the battery uh, so you can try the stall protection maybe saves you a little bit more uh, so you can drive a little bit longer uh, something you should check uh, because the sinusia start, um, startup <clears throat> assign mode is uh, 
taking a lot of um, current or dr uh, draws a lot of uh, power out of your battery. Um, not like it's empty from now on then, but use way more than regular driving. So this is something I recommend you to check this. Uh, you can uncheck stall protection if you're in this drive mode. Um, but you can use just stall protection without this to try out where you have more, more a better feeling for your acceleration and for the slow crawl. Maybe you have it on the other mode. For me, I have a, a Pasita motor by Fury Tech, which is an in runner, a super small one for 118 scale. Uh, and I get if I have the sign of sodium startup i get some cocking so i took this away and went totally down with my bwm frequency so now the cocking is gone and super nice driving super soft but outrunners have more torques than in runners um, just to two stages and if you want to change the value again here if you need to uncheck then you can use uh, the slider put in your value and then you check again the BWM frequency. Try this out. This is like really like you have a shifted gear and this is so much more power. So hopefully I could help you with, uh, with what I have here. So I'm not an engineer. I'm not a super crack on AM32. This is what I learned about AM32 by watching tons of videos, reading and trying out with my cars. Um, so do everything, do on your own risk. Just watch uh, this one that it's not too high or maybe your motor get burned or your AC um, because this draws a lot of current if you way way too up and this really heats up the system but this is maybe the only dangerous thing and if you go on input uh, you even could go to car and basher then you have forward brake and reverse mode so i hope you you enjoyed this little video and i hopefully could help you out with some information so goodbye and good luck